Percentages often confuse people. The best place probably to understand them is starting with the name. Breaking it down, we have per and cent. Per means for each and cent is a hundred. So percentages mean for each hundred. When we have a number expressed as a percentage, it's saying how many of these are in each hundred of the original number. If you have an item of clothing in a sale which has a label on it saying 50% off, and the original price was say 200, and use this to figure out how much the item is now. First step is divide 200 by 100 to find out what 1% of the price is. In this case, that's 2. Next step is to multiply that 2 by the percentage we actually have, in this case 50. So 50 times 2 is 100, so our discount is 100. We take 100 away from the original price of 200, the price we'll actually pay is 100. That was a fairly easy example, and there are quicker ways to get to the answer. The method is important, we get to more complicated percentages. However, let's look at some of those shortcuts. Now there are some common percentages that can be converted into fractions, and that may make it easier to work out what they represent. For instance, 50% is the same as half, 25% is the same as quarter, and 10% is the same as a tenth. So in the first example, we could have just said that half of 200 is 100 without all the other maths. But let's now look at an example where fractions can't help us. Say you've spent quite a lot on the sales and put them all on your credit card, but have now built up a debt of 2,000 on your credit card, with an annual interest rate of 18.9%. If you don't pay anything off your debt, how much extra in interest will you owe at the end of the year? Now, using the same method, we first need to divide the number by 100 to find out what 1% of the debt is. So, 2000 divided by 100 is 20. So, 1% is 20. Now, we need to multiply this by 18.9. If you use a calculator, this is relatively easy. But if you don't, probably easier to break it down. So we multiply 20 by 18, which is 360, and then multiply 20 by 0.9. Now that seems a little tricky multiplication, but there is a neat ploy to get around this. When you have a large number multiplied by a decimal, you can move one figure one decimal place to the right, as long as you move the other one one decimal place to the left. Sounds a little bit complicated to say, but it gets a little easier when you see it in action. What this means is that 20 multiplied by 0.9 is exactly the same as 2 multiplied by 9, which is 18. So we take that 18, add it to the 360 we obtained earlier, we get 378. So we have 2,000 on a credit card at 18.9% interest. The amount of extra interest we'll be have to pay at the end of the year is 378. Hope this makes understanding percentages and how to work them out a little easier.